Welcome back to the channel, guys. I got another video of the Denali because I'm absolutely obsessed with this thing. Um, good friends over at Boost Auto sent me a package I have not opened, I swear. Um, so let's check out what they sent us. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, dude, they sent bubble wrap. Some, some cards. Uh-oh. Dude, I'm running low on, on t-shirts, so this, this is nice. There we go. Even got a GMC Denali on the back of the t-shirt. They knew what they were doing. Might put that thing on for the video. We got a sticker, but I already got one in the back window. Might put it somewhere else. Koozie to keep my Red Bull cold. Cause I don't drink. Sweet keychain. I'm gonna actually change mine because I like how short this one is. Anyways. Now for the best part. Toe mirror lights. These are for 2019 up. So if you got 2019 and up, this is where you're gonna get them from. Check these things out. Actually, let's let's take a look at how nice the packaging is. It even tells you right and left. This is actually very nice. So these are clear. Dang, those look good, don't they? They do. Those look really good. So these are. I have the spotlight here. And then these are always going to be uh, white. And then they're also amber. So there's, they're uh, switchbacks. And they have a startup se sequence that I can't wait to show you. So let's yank my truck apart. All right. So supposedly, I feel like I'm going to screw this up. But you tilt this all the way up. I no, this one's down. This one's down. This one's down. I feel like it's going to break, dude. Oh. Wow, I actually did something. Well, let's save that. Now this one, you tilt all the way down. Ooh, this has a heated, heated glass. Or do you tilt this one all the way up? It'll have wires hooked to it. Yeah, this one has the wires. All right, so white and black is on bottom. I'm literally shaking because I don't want to break it. It's all I've ever done in life is just break stuff, never improve anything. <laughs> I'm not good at improving stuff, guys. I'm good at I'm good at breaking stuff. Promise you that. Well, those can stay in there because. I gotta unplug it here because that's soldered. Oh, there we go. Now we just. You can go ahead and cut. Yep. All right, so this is your top glass here. If whenever you take this off, when you take the mirror off, if this plastic is on here, you didn't do it wrong, it just came off differently. So what you got to do is you got to get this off, which I think there's a little tabs. Somewhere. There you go. 
so they're right they're right here on the outside that makes more sense so you can just push that out on the put your flathead here boom there's that one that one Boom. And then what I'm gonna do is the mirrors there just like that this was here so it's gonna go should go just like that back on the mirror Sure it's centered. It should be right there. There it is. I didn't feel it really like click in, but. There it is. All right, so now we can take these four screws out and we can take this whole piece off. All right, so now that we got this put back on, I pressed on all four corners just to make sure it's secured again. Now we can take these torques out. I'm just doing it with a screwdriver. You can do it with a drill if you want, but I, I don't wanna mess it up. All right, so now that I'm on the last one, I'm gonna hold this chrome so it don't go nowhere. Now everything should be loose. they can engrave that all right so i extended the mirror out so i can take this off now we got to figure out how to get it off did i break it nope we're good all right so now you have four torques in here they're a t15 everything that we're going to touch is a t15 so you got one here, one here, one here, and one here. That's the only four you take off the motor. All right, now that all four are out, this should come out, and you can see the connector back here. You're gonna have to unconnect this, pull the motor out, and then we can get to our marker light. All right, so on this connector, if you take your fingers, if you have a little bit of nails on either side of this connector, you should be able to grab both sides. Boom, take it right out. Pretty simple. Don't be digging in there with a flathead. It's not, it's not that hard. Now we have a Torx head here, here, and there's another one hiding. Actually, I might have already taken it out. I think. Yes, that one's already out. So this one and this one. I'll be right back. I'm going to take this one out. And then what I'm thinking is I'm going to unplug it first. Just so I ain't pulling on no wires. I don't need to come back to a wiring problem. Now this one, you might could use a screwdriver a little easier. They're just a little, actually, probably not. It might be easier to just, boom. Easier with the fingers. There's that. All 
All right, so if on these GM trucks, the mirror style, they come out and then they, whenever they fully extend, they come back in. So this will be about halfway so that your mirror is out away from your bar. So now this can come forward to where I can pull these lights out. All right, so I totally forgot that there's a screw here. So once you take this screw out, that is 100% my fault, guys. I wasn't paying attention. Take this screw out. Now, with this being halfway, this should... Whoa, there we go. That felt promising. There we are. For sale. <laughs> now let's get the Boost Auto mirror lights. I can't wait to see a startup sequence. Go. Dude, I don't think you can get more closer to literally factory with a little spice in her, you know? Like that is just insane quality. I don't think I've ever seen like something else made that good. All right, so this is left side. Oh, she should. Wait, I don't know my left and my right. Uh, look at that. Why would you even want these anymore? These are, this is where it's at. All right, now to put it back together without breaking it. And then we have a whole other side to do. So that looks so good. So I'm gonna plug it in so I 100% don't forget. That was easy, boom, together. Now, honestly, you can slide it out so it keeps everything together and you just bolt everything back up. Right, that, that sounds pretty simple. Now you just do everything backwards. That's usually how I do everything anyways. Backwards. Put all the white ones back in. That hold the white. That one's part of the cover. So that'll be completely bolted back in once you put the cover back on. Now the hard part, getting the whole case put back together in one piece. Actually, I'm gonna bolt this old girl back on. And then, this was like this, because I remember this little I don't know what you want to call that. It looks like a purse. Put that back up. Just like so. It almost sits in a slot there. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. Tighten it fully down till we have all four in. Boom. It's like so nice. You can see in there, you, everything's so simple. put this cover back on but we also have to put the chrome on as well so I think the easiest way to do this is going to be plug the light in put this trim piece
and hold it at the same time so that we got to feed this wire through here. here all right guys so i was having trouble getting the panel back on and to line up correctly you got to make sure this light is like perfect it's meant to fit in there perfectly uh so i took this back off and i loosened the screws because i i thought you know putting the screw in a little crooked would help correct it but it's meant so perfect that it will fit perfectly. So now that I have it slid over to where it's perfectly in the slits here, it lines up perfect and everything is going back together like butter. I'm just, I'm a little scared to get to the mirror part. But hopefully it just snaps on, no, no problems. Okay, so that, that lines up better. Now this don't move like it was. Last screw back in. Everything just goes in so perfect. It's almost like I wasn't even here. Look at that line now. Yeah, there we go. No movement. We are good. All right, now we can, we're gonna do the top mirror first because we did the bottom mirror first whenever we took it apart. So top mirror first. Plug everything in, slap her on, then we'll get bottom mirror. All right, now we're on this mirror. So let's get her plugged in, which I had her hanging here. So white and black was on bottom on mine. I don't know if it's the same on every single truck. There's that, plug this up. Boom, bada boom, bada bang. Don't do that. You cut it out. All right, you see what happened. The reason that happened is my fault. I didn't put this on all the way. I thought it was on, but clearly it wasn't. So, boom. So now it goes back like that. I gotta make sure it's in these little four holes. That don't make no sense. Oh, see how it... Okay, that makes sense. So this bar goes into this slit here. Okay, now she's going to go on like butter, I promise. Let's put in... Set this up there like that. This one. Bada boom, bada bang. All right. Now you see this one installed. We're going to go ahead and get the other one installed. But first, I want to show you guys something. All right, so now we have the spot light for the mirror front facing, which is factory, yes, but it's definitely different and it's definitely brighter. And now we have, we have amber lights and they have a startup sequence. Dude, tell me that's not sick. Woo! And when they're just, just the normal running light, they are, a pure white light they're not amber i love them they're sick and that's basically what your blinker light will look like that's kind of cool all right now let's get the other one switched out it's gonna be so weird because i'm not left-handed so everything's gonna be like kind of backwards 
I'm stupid already. This one's down, right? Simple enough, dude. Ow. I don't like this one. All right, so this one came off the same way. So let's just say 50-50, this is always going to come off. Or nine times out of ten, this plastic piece is going to come off. You're going to have to put it back on. Make sure you don't do what I did and put it on wrong. Make sure it actually clicks in. All right. Take all these corks out. Guys, this is pretty much simple. Um, Boost Auto has a instruction sheet. That is also digital. Step for step, how to do it. It's amazing. Customer service is amazing. Um, you gotta check them guys out. They are awesome people. They make some pretty awesome stuff, as you can see. They got, if you got a vehicle, I'm pretty sure they have something that will work for what you have. They do a very good job in their lighting department. This piece comes out, I believe. If you can get this piece out, it'll definitely help because then you don't have to worry about dropping the chrome. Unplug your light so you don't rip the wires out. thinking I'm going to break it. Pretty sure I broke it, guys. All right. I'll put, whenever I put this motor back on, then I'll set the plastic piece over it. For now, let's get this light out. And I'm going to have to extend the mirrors. This one's different than the other side. I don't remember that thing being on there. What I like about these is Boost Auto Parts. They put it, they put their little initials in there. They didn't do all the GM crap that's on the factory lights. So it's nice, slick. That's what I should have done on the other one. So on the other one, I I was in here trying to get it to sit in there right. But if you come out here and do it, you can definitely get it to sit perfectly in there to where your front face will go on it so much easier. Which makes so much, like it's perfectly lined up back here. Yeah, that looks so much better doing it from the backside like this. Stop it, get some help. That's what she said.
100% make sure everything is clicked in. You do not want to have to come back just because you missed not plugging something in all the way. I know if it was me, I would hate that if that happened. Plug that in like that. It was like, boom. It's actually nice. It's actually way nicer putting this back in without the plastic covering. Because now you can see how it goes. Just like that. Oh, that'll work. Because then it'll be easier to get that to sit in there. So that goes there. This goes here. Set that up like that. How oh, nice that's sitting up there just because I fixed the light. The other side I wasn't exactly 100% sure. So much better. What I like to do is I tighten this one and I tighten that corner. And I'm gonna go around and make sure everything looks correct. Looks smooth. Dropping stuff. Put all four in before you tighten it all the way down, just so it can situate itself where it's gonna sit. Now I need to pop this off of the mirror, put it back on, make sure it's secure, pop the mirrors back on. Like I said, it just clips right inside of these little things. It's really... If you can get it lined up, I'm not left-handed, guys, so don't make fun of me. It's just so much different. Okay, this side took a little bit more pressure, but that's probably because I'm left-handed and not that strong. All right, so now we can plug this one in. All right, guys, both of them are installed. Now let's see the final product. Let's see what it looks like. I'm excited. All right, guys, as you've seen, I just installed the mirror lights from Boost Auto Parts. Um, head over to BoostAutoParts.com. Check out their website. They have so much inventory of all custom stuff for your truck to fit your needs. Um, also, follow them on all social media platforms at Boost Auto Parts. Uh, go check them out. Give them a follow. I'll leave a link down in the description to the exact lights I got. Uh, they are very quality work. They, they did a good job. I love them. Um, I love the startup sequence. If you get them, you got to get startup sequence because it's just, it's what sets the lights off. Also, I'll leave a link down in the description to the instructions to install these mirror lights on your truck. That looks so good. And then your unlock button, flashes them. 
then they go back to clear white. Blinkers, clear white. That is so good. Now I'm going to turn the spotlight on. are definitely stock. I like how they go out. That's pretty nice. So those are way brighter than your factory light because your factory light ends about here. Not way out there. So that's nice. All right guys, so in the near future, you might have clears here, front and rear. Might have some nice Luma steps from Boost Auto uh, with some nice foam on them. I like the foam steps, that's so sick. Um, and we might have more engraving done. Uh, I don't wanna color match it yet. I wanna get all my lights done because now that I have these, I wanna do all of them. Uh, so yeah guys, if you liked the video, subscribe. If not, I'll tase you.